This is The Hustler's Corner. Hello YouTube family, welcome to The Hustler's Corner SA podcast. Now this is a platform to power up your hustle and to give you that knowledge that you need so you become a conscious, smart hustler, especially to my African community all across the world. Let's start with that notification gang. Guys, let's go straight to that sharp, sharp sign and click those like buttons on the count of one, two, three. Click, 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 click. Thank you very much, guys. So we can, um, you know, manipulate the algorithm so we can show the video to as many people as possible. Now, welcome to the Hustlers Corner. In case you bump into this video by accident, subscribe onto the platform. Let everybody else know about the platform like share and um we are getting into our book reading sessions in case you haven't had a chance to read about the late great bantu stephen vico who sadly passed on back in 1977 at the tender age of 30 years old his ideologies lived live on through his writings this is um, memoirs steve vico i write what i like forward by njabula s Ndebele. this is the 40th anniversary edition uh, Nkosinati Biko, his son, says here at the back of the book, makes thinking continue to be a part of the national dialogue as we continue to define ourselves as Africans across the world. In case you haven't checked out all the other videos, I've done the introduction, I've done the preface, I've done the foreword, I've done um, chapter one on another video, I've done chapter two on another video, chapter three on another video. This video is chapter four. Let's get right straight into it. Okay. Chapter four, black campuses and current feelings. Mm. The article that follows in the next chapter is a brief summary of observations I made during the tour of most of the black campuses. It is based on discussions at student body meetings, SRC meetings, and with small groups of individuals outside local leadership circles. Slowly at first and quite fast of late, the black student community is casting aside the old approach towards solving its problems. A definite spirit of independence and an awareness of ourselves as a group with potential strength in beginning to manifest itself in many ways. On many an occasion, I found the various campuses not only ready to support, but also eager to join in directing the thinking of Sasu. It was generally agreed that at this stage of our history, the most logical step is to follow the directive given by Sasu. That is of concentrating on ourselves as a group and amalgamating all of our forces. One striking feature is the steep decline in the intensity of the morality argument. Some time ago, quite a lot of people used to be violently opposed to segregation, even when practiced by blacks against whites. Of late, People of this persuasion are beginning to see the logic of rejecting the so-called bilateral approach. The idea that blacks and whites can participate as equal partners in an open or in an open organization is being questioned even by the most ardent black supporters of non-racialism. These people realize now that a lot of time and strength is wasted in maintaining artificial and token non-racialism at student level. Artificial not in the sense that it is natural to segregate, but rather because even those involved in it have certain prejudices that they cannot get rid of and are therefore basically dishonest to themselves, to their black counterparts. And to, the, and to the community of black people who are called upon to have faith in such people. Another noticeable feature is that most of the students, while very sure of what they did not like in it, and who were quite harsh in their criticism of the old approach, yet lack a depth of insight into what can be done. One found, where, oh, one found wherever he went, the question being asked repeatedly, where do we go from here? This again is a tragic result of the old approach, where the blacks were made to fit into a pattern largely and often wholly determined by white students. Hence, our originality and imagination have been dulled to the point where it takes a supreme effort to act logically even in order to follow one's beliefs and convictions. A third and also important observation was the eagerness of the students to wish to relate whatever is done to their situation in the community. 
there is growing an oh, there is growing awareness of the role the black students may be called upon to play in the emancipation of their community. The students realize that the isolation of the black intelligentsia from the rest of the black society is a disadvantage to black people as a whole. When everything is said and done, one must express pleasant surprise at the quality of leadership on the various campuses. The history of most of the black campuses is marred with restrictions and intimidations. One would have thought that by now everybody has been cowed down to the point of dodge acceptance of all that comes from authority. Yet at many places I was surprised by the sheer bargaining power that the SRCs have built with their respective authorities. Strong delegations are being sent from most of the black campuses to the Sasso Conference, where a concerted effort will be made to get answers to some of the questions. The conference promises to be both inter interesting and enlightening, especially in view of the diversity that one finds in approach. But some things are common to all to bear witness to the unity of the black students, to give proper direction and depth to the movement and to make themselves worthy of the claim that they are leaders of tomorrow. Steve Biko, chapter four. Thank you very much for watching this video of I Write What I Like by Steve Biko, the 40th anniversary edition. That was chapter four. The next video you're going to watch will be chapter five. In case you bumped into this video by accident, my YouTube family, I'd like for you to subscribe so you get to become a, a hustlers or a part of the uh, Hustlers Corner SA podcast community. The podcast is available on all platforms across the world. We've got different content, we've got interviews, we've got different things that will help you um, become a better hustler. And especially the African hustlers all across the world. Even though you are a hustler, it's very important to get your mind right there is no hustler who's going to become a successful entrepreneur and ultimately become big and become influential in the world of society or our black community if they do not read remember guys readers are leaders and leaders are readers i'll see you on the next video in chapter five thank you very much guys for watching i hope you guys have a great day i think for today i'll leave it here on um four chapters I'm going to read more chapters later because I've got things to do. It's half past 11 now. It's almost 12 o'clock. I've got some meetings to go and attend before I go on to the radio. Let me speak to my community right here on live Facebook and Instagram live and let you guys know that um, we're going to be posting a video later on the Hustlers Corner. Make sure you go subscribe where we will be giving you guys details on how you can enter. If you are a small business owner, you're a hustler, or you are somebody that has been advertising their business on the hashtag DJ's food Twitter platform every Saturday. I had an interview this past weekend. Make sure you go check out that interview. It's also up on the Hustlers Corner with business giant, Mr. Kandani C, representing 360 Global Solutions. What an amazing interview. He dropped a lot of gems there for all of, for all of you young entrepreneurs or young hustlers out there. Go check out that interview. But the good news that came out of that interview is that um, I didn't put him on the spot. You know, I really asked from a perspective of saying, I mean, I've got this seat here to speak to you, um, Mr. MC. Not everybody else out there has got this opportunity. So I just would like to use my influence to um, get you to commit to helping the young guys out there somehow. Maybe even if you're helping out one or two businesses. And guess what? He ended up saying, you know what, Sibu? I'm gonna speak to my team. And he ended up committing 400,000 rands. And he said, let's give 20,000 rands each to 20 businesses every saturday over the next 10 weeks we will be choosing two winners who will each get a 20,000 rands covered business saver courtesy of 360 global solutions thank you so much mr kandani cb i hope the spirit and energy that you've thrown out to the universe will be reciprocated by your business counterparts in the business black community we've got a lot of millionaires We've got a couple of billionaires, a lot of successful business people who might be um, learning from what 360 Global Solution is doing. And we can also go out there and make some funds available to small business owners out there. Not only the government is gonna get this done, but a big business has to come through 
for uh, for the smaller guys. So go subscribe onto the Hustlers Corner. It's a dope platform for all the hustlers. This is the Hustlers Corner.